Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Soccer 17 Let's Play Board Game Edition Preview Review. Um, I know that even though I have a more updated version of the art than what's on the beta print and play that's on the Kickstarter, um, it is not final art, so I will not be covering art quality or component quality in this review. Uh, I want to ad I'll admit, uh, first off, that I did not have a whole lot of uh, expectations when it came to Soccer 17 when I first saw it because a lot of soccer game uh, well really a lot of sports games in general either require an excessive knowledge of the sport are extremely tedious and boring or both and I mean they're sports games have a history of not being implemented very well outside of the die-hard sports fans that being said, I have to say Soccer 17 blew me out of the water, didn't have either of those problems, and it was really an exciting game. It was probably one of the better games I've played recently. Definitely one, probably one of the best micro games I've played possibly ever. Um, so I have to say I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, it, it For a soccer game, it's not a lot of soccer rules heavy, but I do think it does a give good mentality of a soccer player. Um, Basically, so to fit the theme, uh, basically the defender is always trying to anticipate what the attacker is going to do, and the attacker wants to like make the defender think he's going to do something he's not, so he can get through. And I, from the little bit of soccer I played as a kid in intramural soccer, I know that's very true and really fits the theme well. Um, but he did so he was, did all that while leaving it accessible to everyone, which I think is a great thing and makes it a great game. Also, I love how the name of the game and the design of the game really help fit into the theme well. Um, I'll admit, because as I said, the only soccer I played was as a kid. I looked up, 17 must have had some meaning, there, why it's called Soccer 17. So I looked it up, and apparently there are 17 rules or laws of soccer. So uh, that was a nice tie into the name. But then you look at the base components of the game, and you look at it, really look at it, and there are exactly 17 cards in the base game. So the whole game is designed around the 17 aspect, which really gives it a kind of cool tie into the theme. I like how all the choices differ depending on where the ball is. It takes something that could be really monotonous, making the same choices turn after turn after turn, and really changes it up. Every m ball movement creates a different situation and makes breaks up that monotony, and it really makes it interesting time and again, at move after move, because the ball is constantly moving back and forth and you're switching from between attacker and blocker. It really breaks up the m potential monotony and makes it a lot of fun. Um, the gameplay is really quick. Uh, because both players play simultaneously, there's very little downtime. Um, I mean, there's a lot of decision making, so a uh, extremely indecisive player might have a little trouble, but it's really, there are very limited number of decisions, so I don't see that coming up very often and being much of a problem. Um, I like that in addition to the three major moves, the dribble, the pass, and the one, two, there's also the tackle slash rebound card. Um, without adding very many components, it really adds a whole another aspect to the game. Um, it adds a lot of bluffing decisions because the card can be lost. Um, sometimes you might want to play the dribble, but make your opponent think that you're going to play either make a shot really because the dribble can't shoot. Um, so you can get rid of their tackle card so they can't use it as a rebound later, or they can't use it as a tackle, and it really adds a lot to the game. Makes it a lot of fun. Um, I'd say the game has good replay value. Um, really, the replay value is very dependent on your opponent. Um, if you have an opponent that's going to play the same thing game after game after game, um, it's going to get boring real quickly because you're going to know, oh, well, they're going to play this at this time, they're going to play this at this time, and it's really not a lot of fun. But if both you and your opponent are trying to outsmart each other constantly, it makes the game a lot of fun. You're always every game will be different because you're always trying to outthink them and make them think you're going to do something you're not. And it really yeah, it does make it a lot of fun. Um, I do say the teams that they're working on I think will add a lot of replay value because it changes up the moves. It makes every game a little just a little different, which when compounded with so many choices really makes a big difference. Um, overall, I have to say I love Soccer 17. Uh, it's definitely a great little micro game. Uh, it's really good for bringing to lunch, and you can play it during lunch because it's 15-minute games, really tops. 
mean, with overtime, maybe you'll hit 20 minutes. Uh, so it's really good for that. Um, really, you could play it anywhere. Anywhere you have to wait uh, at a set time. Um, it's even possibly, you could even bring it on car trips. Um, you do have to be a little careful, though, in that situation. We're keeping track of the time and the ball. But if you can do that, then really, it's good anywhere. Um, so overall, I highly recommend this game. I hope everyone goes out and helps the Kickstarter and gets this game into production. Um, well, that's all for this preview review. I hope to see you in the playthrough video, but if not, please remember to share, like, and subscribe, and as always, remember to stay geeky.